Indiana University has a new program for entrepreneurship. IU Innovates helps students, faculty, and staff develop new businesses. The professors, staff, and students involved say it's an important part of the student's education. Aubrey Wright has more. Inside the Von Lee building, IU students Eli Serrano, Izzy Branham, and Brian Rosen are talking business. <laughs> they, they know all about yeah. us. They like had I should research. research. Yeah. Like, oh, Rosen's cool. getting thousands of cans delivered for his energy drink company, Evervive. Branham, CEO of Relate XR, is showing how artificial intelligence and virtual reality will help people with addiction. And Serrano tries to make social media better for you with his app, Aroma. Aroma is a new social media that gets people outside to improve their mental health. There with IU Innovates. It's a university-wide program that helps entrepreneurs develop their startup businesses. Serrano is part of it and works with less experienced students. When I got here to Indiana University, I wanted to be that mentor for someone just like me, but maybe a step below me um, that doesn't know where the first step is. Last spring, IU Innovates worked with more than 125 student startup founders. To director Julie Heath, entrepreneurship and innovation fit easily into IU's mission. At its core, entrepreneurship and innovation is about problem, problem solving. So each person who's here can, um, can probably answer what big problem do you want to see solved in the world? This is an opportunity to do that. Travis Brown says enterprising students do more than create their own jobs. I've said it a million times, my students probably cringe every time they hear it come out of my mouth, uh, but it's an effective vehicle for self-discovery. He says $11.5 billion of Indiana's GDP was fueled by young companies. It's a major driver of economic health, and Indiana leaders are making it a priority. We can look at um, the, the economy of tomorrow quite literally through the jobs that our students here will end up either creating or, or being part of. Heath says anyone can walk through the Von Lee doors and ask for help. We'll ask them, where are you on your journey? What are you trying to solve? Where do you want to go? Where do you hope to be in six months? IU Innovate sponsors pitch competitions and peer groups. Some students, like Serrano, are mentors. He runs a group every week for startup founders. We figure out what everyone's working on, um, what kind of metrics that they're looking to achieve, anything that they're stuck on, any hurdles. Um, and we all just kind of brainstorm it together. And IU Innovates takes advantage of existing programs, such as the Shoebox Incubation Program. Now it's called Spark Lab. It focuses on the early part of the startup process. Programs like IU Innovates with Julie here, it enables us to be more inclusive. It helped IU student and entrepreneur Matt Gotzik. In my freshman head, I was like, oh, great, let's build an app, let's put it onto the market. It's a great product, everyone's going to use it. Um, this is going to be an incredible billion dollar company. He learned quickly that's not what the startup world is like. But Gottsick is a long way from his freshman year. His latest success comes from his own struggle. He was against seeing a therapist initially, but afterwards it changed his life. So he created an app that took the judgment out of therapy. Why not make an AI therapist that one, learns and understands who you are, and two, is built to help you in your own personal way. The development was chaotic, constantly breaking the app to make it better. But people loved it. Gottsik sold his award-winning AI therapy and personal growth app, Thea, to Miri, a tech company in California. I've never gone through anything like that in my life. This was lawyers, this was paperwork, this was significant capital, um, and this was a real business. He says it can be a long, stressful, and sometimes lonely journey, but having a network of mentors, friends, and other founders at IU makes an impact. You're surrounded by people who are sometimes in the exact same step of the process that you are, and it's one of those things where you don't feel alone anymore. For Indiana News Desk, I'm Aubrey Wright. IU Innovate celebrates its one-year anniversary in November. It's available to anyone in the IU community.